First, welcome to Larawan's uh, Big uh, Blood Con. Uh, may we call on lahat ng cast ng Larawan, please come forward. Dulce, Rachel Alejandro, Mark, Sandino Martin. It's a very interesting question. Your characters with the brief uh, background. I'm playing Tony Javier. Uh, si Tony Javier is, are, is the border ng dalawang sisters. So sa isang bahay lang sila. And uh, yun, medyo uh, deceitful siya. Dahil may iba siyang agenda kung bakit siya, kung bakit na pinili yung lugar na yun para tira. Deceitful. Ah, ako naman ang nagpaloko sa kanya. <laughs> ako naman ang na-deceitful. Paroko. <laughs> ako naman yung... Uh, Ano, tao lang po. <laughs> so I play Paula here, the youngest of the four Malasigan siblings. The older siblings are played by Noni Buen Camino and Mencho Lauchenko Yulo. And the uh, and my the one slightly older than me is uh, played by uh, Joanna Ampil, plays Candida. Ako yung pinaka, parang siguro sa umpisa, uh, iisipin yung medyo weak character. Which is why na target nga ni Tony Javier. Na nakita niya talaga ito ang pwedeng <laughs> ang bulabulahin. Okay. Kasi ako yung nahirapan mag let go. Hindi ako maka let go dun sa dating material dahil so much of it ended up on the cutting room floor. And thankfully, hindi naman forever kasi kung mali stage naman nga yung live musical later on, maibabalik naman yung mga yun. But I, I was so talagang broken-hearted ako nung sobrang dami nun sa mga kantang. Paborito ko, uh, basically disappeared. So there were, most of it actually, the, the melodies of the, the Don Perico character, which was originally played by my dad. And because it was my dad, of course, those were the things that really kind of steered a lot of emotions in me when we were doing it in 1998. So, yun, nahirapan ako mag-let go doon because we had to say goodbye to a lot of the beautiful conversations between Don Perico and uh, Paula and Candida. Ang gaganda nun, kaya lang sobrang haba. Kung hindi tatanggalin yung malaking-malaking portion na yun, siguro mag, yun nga, siguro close to three hours pa rin. So that's one of the major things. And of course now, it's so different talaga from any other kind of movie that you've ever seen because it's not like... Let's say Les Miserables or all of these other musical films na parang it's more of song and then exena and then song. Ito kasi hindi siya eh. It's, it's really one line is uh, I'm, we're speaking, next line it's meron na siyang melody. So it's pa ganun ganun, pa ganun ganun. All she does is uh, every day nagpa-party lang. Pasyal pasyal, party party. <laughs> Meanwhile yung, yung senator uh, who was a good friend of uh, the painter, si Don Lorenzo Malasigan, ano-ano na siya, conscience-stricken na siya because of the portrait. Meanwhile, yung asawa niya, tsaka yung anak niya, party lang yung party, party lang yung party. Ang role ko dito si Don Aristeo, na matalik ng kaibigan ni, uh, ni Don Lorenzo. At uh, usually, uh, kapag nag-Christmas, binibisita nila, they go to their house. to Lanaval. Uh, yeah, also Lanaval, kasi this happens. Yeah, the part of the story happens during Blanaval sa Intramuros. So, so basically, on he's an ex-soldier and, and he's there. And he's just a friend of the family. Ako naman po si Bitoy Camacho. Isang photographer at journalist na uh, kaibigan ng pamilya Marasigan. Na biglang bumalik at bumalik siya dahil Pag-inat sa pelikulo. Ako po si Donya Uping. Obviously, Indio na nagpapaka-alta sa siya. Kayo na lang sabi niya. Kasi mukhang si Mr. Annie Fabregas lang talaga mukhang totoong Espanggol. Espanggol. Kaibigan ng pamilya at mukhang yung makadera din siya kasi yung nakikitalagang kialam. Di ba nga, Espanyol na Espanyol, ito nga. Kasi meron kaming audio material. Di ba meron ng performance dati? Meron yung recording. So bago sila, uh, bago kami nag-rehearse, they had to uh, listen to okay. that recording. Para, not because para gayahin, but because para malamin nila yung melody. 
at least yung melody. Kasi eventually, nung kinlaim na nila yung mga kanta nila, sila na yon yung characterization na nila. Yung... So, uh, ang mahirap lang was because, um, imagine from uh, sung through, the, the entire musical was sung through before. Three hours. Na Three hours siya. No? Ngayon, de, we had to cut it to two hours. So, ang daming parts na hindi nakanta. So, ang pinaka nahirapan kami is kung ano yung pipiliin namin na dapat kantahin o dapat sabihin. That was the hardest. Not the training of the people. Lahat like, sila professional, so magali. It's the material. You guys, so what was the most challenging in terms of directing, producing, and acting on this full-length period music? That's all. Thank you. I think our director, as himself, is already a challenge. Here, here. Well, not here. 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 His thoughts and, and how he wants to approach things and mga kita mo talaga hinihimay niya every every scene and for me na kapareho ni Rachel who already knew the material also his insights were always very interesting yung Keloy and then you see it now on the film na scenes that I thought I already understood now when I see it talaga ah yes that's another side of it, that's another perspective. And this is what Loy was, was looking for. From FB Live, ha? Oh, no, 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 Merong walang FB Live, merong F, merong FB Live. Mupasweet ka pa? <laughs> Maayos naman. <laughs> no, what I have to comment, um, uh, Paolo, uh, every time we'd say, can you come back? And, and dub again. And na naman si Paul, naaksidente nga sa motorcycle, so, ano niya? <laughs> na, 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 he was in crutches, may he come and, you know, work. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, also, binalikan niya, yung isang eksena sa niya, mas magagawa ko maganda yung kanta ko dyan. Pinawa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niya ulit. Yeah. So, yun ang pinantayan ng mga nota niya. <laughs> So, that's the kind of mga no talaga. Any questions? Do you have those fears? Fears? Maybe tapat ka ba? Fears. Yes. Ah, fears. Okay. Tapat ka ba sa kakalabas na ng resulta ng ano? Oh, box office? Nanginginig na po. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi na po makatulog. Pero obviously nakakakain as nakita niyo naman kanina. <laughs> that's good. Malakas. Nakakakain, malakas ko mahi pero hindi makatulog. Ayun. In the, um, yeah, of course, we have, uh, no, we're, you know, concerned, syempre, dahil napakaraming mga uh, gininto ang puso ng mga tao, mga investors na talagang nagbigay ng uh, kanilang trust sa amin ng mga first-time film producers. And uh, it's, as many of you have heard, uh, this is a film that we've been working on for many, many years. In fact, going on five. And so, yung bang uh, may mga responsibility. Bata, bago. Ah, kinabahan ka ba o paano ka nag-prepare para dun sa role mo? Ay, nagbasa ako ng libro, content. Tsaka nung nag-research ako sa Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. That's a sponsor. And Google. Thank you, Google. And uh, I talked to a lot of people of, um, regarding the first film, the black and white movie of Mike DeLeon. So, unfortunately, hindi ko siya napanood. But, uh, nag-research ako about Vic Silayan. I was so passionate about it. And sabi ko, ay, hindi ko, hindi ko kayang i-overcome yung si Vic sila. And siguro kahit makwento ko lang si Bitoy. As yeah, because, you know, uh, I would say, you're working with the best of the best. I mean, I mean hand-picked rin naman lahat ng tao dito. At yung mga producers natin are, are part of the cast as well. Uh, but yeah, parang nga kanina, we were rehearsing. Ay, gusto nila mag-rehearsal. Parang nakaka, parang dominating yung ano nila eh. Uh, knowing that you're working with people who have done this and are still doing this for several, uh, have been have been doing this for several years. Uh, sorry, Mr. C. Uh, 
um, voice lessons, Mrs. C. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How many months? How many months? Or how many sessions? I got on up two or three months on and off. Um, um, wow. Mrs. C. Wow. Then plus that we had rehearsals. Yeah, we had rehearsals before the, sh the a lot of rehearsals, but it was this. I would say it was treated like a play. Like a stage play or theater, uh, something you would watch in theater. Madaming rehearsals, and Mrs. Celeste was there, and I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Kasi hindi daw talaga po, hindi hindi talaga daw sa swak yung pop singing style ko. It really had to be period style yeah, period. singing. Yeah. Uh, we we asked me Kim if we could uh, number one turn it into a musical yeah. and in Filipino. So that was in 1997. And uh, so that was 20 years yes. ago. But for the film, yes. we really just we really started work on the film mga five years ago, and that no? involved. Uh, uh, getting the right people, getting the right director, uh, and uh, making sure that the libretto could be uh, an efficient and, and uh, useful screenplay for a film. We had to adapt the musical play into a film. So the memories that three years ago. Two years ago. Last watch movie. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I have a phone-in question din kay Rachel. Aside from the voice, uh, the additional voice lesson, ano pa daw yung challenging na ginawa mo? Or pinagawa sa'yo na ayaw mo daw? Meron ba? Nahihirapan ako dun sa seduction scene namin. Oh, Ayoko okay. kasi. <laughs> Joke! <laughs> Juicy! <laughs> uh, no, um, yeah, I, we, actually, Joanna and I took acting lessons also. Um, even way before kami nag start and then um, on top of that, uh, kami ni, kami ni, um, ni Joanna, we were we watched mga old films then. Because one of the things nga, na talagang importante kay Loy Arsenas is that pati yung movement kailangan ba, na babagay din sa mga you know we had to be women of a certain social class during that period. Mm -hmm. Sabi nga ni Mr. Bernard, ang babae nakalunok daw ng sound system. <laughs> no, actually, nung unang uh, itinawag sa akin ni Celeste yan, parang natakot ako kasi unang-una, dahil talagang sa buong buhay ko, totoong buhay ko, talagang idolo ko si Miss Celeste de Gatsby. Yeah. Totoo yan. Ang tanda eh. na. Ha? Ano ba? Basta! Yes, pwede ba ito? Magsweto ka ito. Bata pa kayo nun, no? Pinapanood <laughs> 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 Alam mo yun, ah, Mr. Ryan, kaya biya, grabe yun. So, nung una, ah, nung unang rehearsals, hindi ko talaga alam which ah, one doon sa Doña Irene at Doña Upeng. Ang inaral ko, doon, Doña Irene. Tapos sabi ni Mr. C, hindi yan ang sayo. <laughs> ang dami nilang challenges. And, and the only way I could connect them with the young people is the young people now have the same type of challenges and looking for a job, trying to stabilize, start trying to have a stable uh, job or trying to, to look for it themselves. How does that non characters done uh, are basically um, put in a situation where the challenges are they have to work hard. They really have to work hard. And that's Part one. Part two of what I'm going to say about uh, the connection with the millennials is, uh, as far as I know, many of the my two kids are millennials, and I can't believe it. Ang hivik nila dun sa mga past music. They, my two kids are into jazz. Sabi ko, jazz beyond the time I'm doing pop. Sila ang gusto nila yung 
Um, tapos ngayon, gusto nung saan ko yung mga bagong, yung mga folk songs, Gina Jazz niya. Yeah. As long as we need to make it the most excellent way, and we will just believe that the audience will like it because it's excellent. And uh, I don't know about you, but we, especially kami, we believe that the audience is ready for something really excellent. Um, our production design is top of the line, talagang really excellent. Our lights, our editing, our cinematography, our uh, special effects, we built, we, we built a house that you will never find because it's the bottom part is in Intramuros, the upper part is in Taal. So that's uh, quite uh, a feat for computer graphics. And our music is, uh, so everything, lahat ng excellent that we could do, we put in here. And that is also the reason why I think the millennials will appreciate it. Because uh, ang ating mga batang Filipino, they like looking back. They like knowing what is their history, but they want it to be excellently made. And this is it. This is Larawan. As I said earlier, it tells a lot about our history. And kung sa rin tayo nang galing and as to the trends. It's nice that, it's nice, I never um, have done any musical before, or any, any big uh, plays. And upon reading this material, it got it. I really got interested in like plays. And they said, yeah, Celeste said that, that if this film works, uh, they have a lot in store. Then, nasa kanila yung rights na sana ibigay sa kanya yung isa. Pero, I got so interested in it. Na parang sana, um, either kahit hindi siya musical or sana dire diretsong. Um, may pa may isa pelikula itong mga treasured natin na, na mga na mga plays ng ganito kagandang script ganito kagandang story and then also na uh, ang ating ang ating bayan uh, kasi parang nowadays parang it's difficult to find inspiration di ba so we're hoping that this film will give you inspiration because of, of what you're going to see. And, the, and that umabot na, umabot na tayo sa uh, higher ano, of excellence. You know, you know I'm, I'm really hoping that, that that's what they will feel. Thank you, Mr. Les. Now, ano po, um, we invite na po natin. Po. December 25, uh, mga kababayan, manood po tayo ng ang larawan. Supportahan po natin ang ating pelikula na ito sapagkat alam natin uh, marami pong uh, magiging magandang bagay ang uh, maalala natin at uh, maisa sa buhay pa natin. Hindi pa po huli ang lahat. Magigita natin ang kagandahan ng pagiging tayo bilang mga Pilipino. December 25, Natural <laughs> siya ang galing namin. Hindi kami, ang galing ng Pilipino. Ang galing pala na, uh, meron pala tayo niyang treasure. Okay, inaan niya ako yun. Manood kayo, December 25 po ang simula, Metro Manila Film Festival, ang larawan. Ayun, alam ko maraming tao ang curious kung papanoorin ba uh, 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 dito sa pelikula na ito at contemplating kung unahin ba nilang panoorin to at uh, kung nagtataka sila kung sulit nga ba kasi uh, usually isang beses ka lang makakanood ngayong MMFF pero um, gusto ko lang sabihin na worth it ang kada piece ng babae niya sa sinihan para dito sa pelikula nito at sana uh, supportahan rin natin itong mga ganitong klaseng pelikula na nagbibigay ng ibang kakaibang panlasa sa ating mga sinihan so December 25 na po uh, sana panoorin. Make uh, Laraw Ang Larawan your Christmas gift, uh, first Christmas gift. Uh, watch us on December 25. And uh, bring your family 
and bring your kapitbahay, and bring your barangay, and tell your best friend. Basta bring as many people as you can. Come and watch us. You will not regret it. Tagalog po ang pelikula nito. English na kami ng English. Sorry po, sorry po. Kasi na blazer eh. Thank you very much. Tapos request po ng larawan kami to have a photo of the vloggers po. Everybody.